In this video, we're going to look at subtraction. So here's an example, 78 subtract 53. So the number that comes first goes in the top, so we write 78, and then we're going to subtract, so subtract 53. So I've lined them up in columns like this, and I have lined up the units, the 8 and the 3, and then the 10s, the 7 and the 5, in columns with each other. Okay, so I've lined up the units, and I've lined up the 10s. Okay, now let's do the subtraction. So we start with the right and we do 8 subtract 3. Well, 8 subtract 3 is 5. Next, 7 subtract 5. Well, 7 subtract 5 is 2. And that's it. So our answer is 25. Let's have a look at another example. This time we've got 124 subtract 19. So again, the 124 is first. I write 124. And then I'm going to write the 19 and I'm going to line them up. So I'm going to make sure the 9 in the units is beneath the 4 and the 1 in the 10s is beneath the 2. And then just to make sure that the same length, I would recommend putting a 0 there. Now put your line and put your subtract sign. So now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract. So we're going to do 4 subtract 9. Well, notice here the 9 is bigger than the 4. So whenever the number beneath is the number you're subtracting is bigger than the number you're subtracting from, what you do is you borrow from the next column. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow 1 from this 2. So we're going to cross off the 2 and we're going to take 1 away from it. So I'd leave 1. And we're going to bring one of the 1s over here then to make 14. So you put it in front of the 4. So you've got 14. So we've got 14 subtract 9. Well, 14 subtract 9 would be 5. Then you've got 1 take away 1. So 1 take away 1 is 0. And then finally, 1 subtract 0. 1 subtract 0 is 1. So our answer is 105. Okay, next one. 810 subtract 124. So again, let's write it out. 810 and 124. Notice again, I've lined them up in columns. Put the line, put the subtract sign. Okay, zero take away four. Well, zero take away four, we can't do here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to borrow one. So we're gonna borrow one from the one. So we cross off the one. We take one away from it, so that leaves zero and we bring it over we put it in front of the zero to make 10. 10 take away four is six. Zero take away two, well we can't do that using this method, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross off the eight and we're gonna take one away from it, leave seven. We put the one in front of the zero to now make 10. 10 take away two is eight, and then finally seven take away one is six. So the main thing is whenever you have a number beneath the number, uh, number uh, the number beneath being bigger than the one above it, then you need to borrow one. Okay, so answer would be 686. Okay, and our last example. Our last example is 500 subtract 145. Now notice here, we've got zero take away five. Well, zero take away five we can't do. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to borrow one. Now in this question, we've got nothing to borrow from here. This is a zero already. So in a question like this, what you would do is you would cross off the five and you'd make it a four. Now the one can only move across one column. So this is going to become a 10 now. But that doesn't help us. We still need to do zero take away five. So what we're now going to do is we're now going to borrow again. So we cross off the 10 and we make it a nine. And we now make this a 10. 10 take away five is five. 9 take away 4 is 5, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So if you've got, uh, if you're trying to borrow and it's a 0, what you need to do is to borrow and then borrow again. So the answer would be 355.